Hi and welcome to Le Studio Marco Primo. As you see, even on vacations, I do not forget you. Today we're going to do a video about creating headphone mixes with Magic Simplitude Pro X5 and everything I will show you will work in Pro X4 as well. So let's dive in right away. All right, headphone mix. Um, the first thing that you should know that is that every audio interface comes with a real-time mixer. Uh, they are all different, but they all do the same thing. Uh, they help you uh, redirect inputs into different outputs so you can make uh, different mixes. Uh, so you might have one for your studio monitors and some uh, other mixes for the headphones, depending how many uh, physical outputs your interface has. For me, I'm using the RMA uh, Fireface UFX, which has all those inputs, and uh, the physical outputs are at the bottom, right here, and in the middle, those are the software playbacks. Okay, so that's what we're going to use. If I'm recording a band live, meaning that every musician are playing together, uh, all the inputs will be used maybe, and I can send, uh, let's see, on that headphone uh, mix, I can send whatever I want, and I have a different mix for the other headphones, you see? Those and those maybe. And that's it. You don't need much more because your software will record everything. The musician needs to hear themselves, but that's it. Maybe they will need a click track so we can set that up. Let's open a project in um, Samplitude. And uh, let's say we are recording the drums, all the different tracks, bass and acoustic guitar. Uh, if they need to uh, listen to a click track, we can uh, set up a different playback output to send the click track uh, signal. But first, let's check the inputs and the outputs. Hit Y on your keyboard and go into audio devices. So at the top, you see all the physical inputs. So if you record, uh, you will select on your on each track one of those inputs and at the bottom those are the playback outputs of the software that will go in your real-time mixer into the playback software playback right here okay so right now I did set up uh, some already um, monitors reamp phones and click and etc and those are replicated in my setup of the real-time uh, mixer monitor reamp phone click track phones to uh, etc so what can i do with this uh, we are talking about the click track so we go into the metronome and we can choose which playback output we will use to send the click track signal okay so if I choose the monitors, it will uh, the click track will be heard directly in my studio monitors. So if I choose click, so let's say I activate the click and I hit, uh, play or record. To hear the click track, uh, you will need to push up the volumes on the output that you use as a headphone uh, mix. So right now I'm recording uh, the phone mix uh, 6 uh, for OBS. So if I want to hear the click in uh, OBS, all right. So that's it. If you only have a live uh, situation where uh, the drummer needs to hear the click track, your job is done. You're ready to record. So what if they recorded the song, but there's a part that they want to redo, or uh, there's some more instruments to be recorded after that. So 
the in this situation not only you will need the uh, maybe the the click track to be outputted to your uh, headphone mix but also what was recorded before so if i go in my project i already have a part recorded i'm going to do a loop um, just for the example and if they need to uh, listen to what is already there and maybe with the click okay uh, if they need to listen to everything uh, that means that you would need to take the monitor output and send that signal to uh, an headphone outputs. So let's see uh, headphone one. Uh, if I play back, you see I can send the signal of uh, the DAW directly to the headphone mix. If I do so that way, this means that the master channel is going to the headphones. So if I have a control room or in either in the same room or in another, if I change the volume here, it will change what the musician will hear as well. So that's not ideal at all. Uh, what we should do instead is set up a different output for uh, the headphones. What I found was easy to do was to create an auxiliary bus and a submix bus and use them to redirect the uh, the audio. So the submix bus and one more aux as well. Okay, so this is the, the bus, this is the aux. Why both? We're gonna change them uh, apart. Well, actually, the master channel can't be redirected to any auxiliary bus, okay? So if I decide to name this one phones, I can assign a different outputs, and this is where I will choose uh, my phone's output, and the signal will come here, of course. Um, if I do so, anything that I send to that headphones mix won't be redirected to uh, the master channel because it's not selected here, stereo master. So I chose this output instead. Um, but what if I want to send everything to this uh, auxiliary bus at once? It's easier to set up a main bus uh, so a second master bus, or so, uh, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, I like to call them main bus, so main. And then I will send every instrument to that output. Select, and then main. And then this main will be sent to the master, so everything that I mix here will go to the master, but I can also use the auxiliary output to send it to the headphones, okay, like that. So if I push play, you see the signal goes to the this output. And if we check in our real-time mixer, if I push play, I also have some signal coming in here. And if I want to set up a second one, I can uh, send the other signal there too. Um, so that's it. Uh, now, what you're able to do is record uh, with the band send a click track to whoever wants it and then if they want uh, to listen to the playback uh, because they want to redo uh, something or they don't want to leave their instrument and they want to listen back to what they just recorded uh, then they need the playback so you did set up 
uh, a different playback ear for them so you can go in every headphones and put this fader up and they will be able to hear what they just recorded okay so the last situation would be uh, the musician wants to hear the playback but not all the same mix so it's very easy we just set up a new auxiliary output set up new aux like this and then this can be called phone 2 and you can send anything from each track to this uh, headphone mix or to make it very easy you can set up more sub mix bus uh, for each instrument so let's see let's do that we're gonna add one for the drums and one for the guitars so this will be for the drums and this will be for the guitars so we're gonna call this one drums and guitars and we can we can change the color to uh, to be rec recognizable so like this and even uh, those ones could could be in red too okay so what we want to do is send every tracks of the drums into the drum bus so we just select them and then change the output to the drums same thing with the acoustic guitar like this send it to the guitars those bus should go to uh, your main bus remember if they go here in the master channel they won't go into the headphones so you need to change them for the main bus and main bus and remember the main bus goes to the master so everything will be fine to be and be heard let's play And that way you can control an old uh, section of instrument or the old drums with one fader. And uh, the advantage of this is that if you want uh, your second headphone mix to be uh, different from the, the main one, we will change the output of the mix to phone 2 or whatever the name that you gave it. And then you can send uh, to this aux only the drum if you want phone 2 like this okay and if I change the volume here it will change for the output as well for the head headphone outputs if you want to do a different very different mix for your master and a different mix for your headphones you could also set the auxiliary as pre-fader so if i put pre-fader here and i push play uh, just check the uh, headphones output too i will lower the volume and it won't lower so let's try you see the headphones output is still uh, having some signal So now that the setup is done, let's check what those outputs are getting as signal. So in the real-time mixer, uh, the phone mix 6 is the one that I'm recording in OBS. So if I decide to uh, send something else than the monitors, uh, I can choose the phone mix 1 or the phone mix 2. So let's try it. And let's send the, the click track as well. So 
So I won't go further today. Uh, this is already very complicated for some people. Um, stop. That's it for this video. If you want me to go further, there's other ways to make headphone mixes, namely the redirecting inputs uh, and uh, put them in the mix as well in real time. Uh, but it's a bit more tricky, so I want to leave that for another video. Uh, if you did like the video, please click on like, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications, and share my videos. It's always a great help.